What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel of the Fall of the House of Usher, episode number six. This one's called Goldbug. Um, yeah, the fall continues, and it's going to continue all the way to the end of the show because that's what this show's about. Roderick Usher's kid's dying. Word. That's what the show's about. <laughs> it's obviously way deeper than that. But that's the core of the stories. And this one coming up, I don't recall what Goldbug is. So that is Tammy's company. You know, oh, with, the fitness with thing? Built. So this yeah. is going to be a Tammy death episode. I mean, they've swerved like a couple, like the, I think the last episode, we thought it was going to be one person. And the, like, I, I think we were I pretty... I thought it was going to be Tammy last episode, and it was... I thought it was pretty obvious Telltale Heart was going to be... I know Vic with the heart thing. I totally yeah. understand that, but like they jump into an episode focusing on one of the kids and then it flip. Well, they're doing the a, they're doing a really good job of getting focus on everybody's story yeah. while also intertwining this flashbacks that I'm most curious about to be honest, this 1980 New Year's because they gave us more there and it felt really intense and Obviously something went down and this bartender is obviously a really important person and they dropped a little I don't buy it. I don't think it's the case, but Maddie's like, oh, it's probably one of your old flings and you tell me you didn't hook up with her and maybe she's got a young child and another bastard coming into the house and trying to take the money and stuff. And I was like, oh, I mean, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Because, I mean, she can't be literally death because she's showing up on camera. Like there's video of her, that, there's pictures of her. I'm not sure of the logistics of yeah. how death gets on film, but I, it wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, especially with the, today's technology. Especially with Leo's camera when he got that picture of her not holding a cat. By the way, I don't know what that was. Right? But, yeah, I was not. <laughs> But, I mean, that was another really wild episode, and we've had now back-to-back -back episodes where the children, for different reasons, literally losing their minds. Leo on drugs, Vic, other reasons. She murdered her partner and thought she was calling her, and the sound of the heart device that she created and was going to use on was... this patient who also looks like the bartender... Um, like She kept hearing the sound that the thing makes. And... I really enjoyed that the last episode i got oh, wow. that was creative as shit yeah i mean this show again we said it last last video the foundation of the story is really fucked up it's sad depressing i mean bad people are dying but it's like there's not a whole lot of positive to the story but the way the show's done has been amazing agreed the performances by the actors have been amazing and the story and the way they're telling it i'm enjoying it very much it's very well done yeah, I wish I had the vocabulary that could explain the depth of these like emotional episodes, but awesome as shit. Yeah, there's what I got. <laughs> there's a couple other things that have popped up in my head since the last episode that have me thinking, and one of them has to do with Roderick's wife. I, I don't know why Jill? we haven't talked about this. Annabelle Lee. Oh, okay. One of the kids, I don't remember who said it. It was probably Tammy because she's super smart ass. But she was like, oh, you grew up in the house of Annabelle Lee, the famous Annabelle Lee. And I'm like, what? Like, why are they referring to her like that? That's a good, good and point. And the point. fact that even the conversation that Roderick was having with August was, you seemed happily married when I met you. What happened there? And the fact that he does have so many children with different women. What went on with her? Like, something happened there. Could that have some kind of relation to the New Year's Eve thing? Honestly, I didn't even think about it. That's a great question. Because Thank the more... Thank you for bringing that up. Yeah, the more... And I kind of spotted that while editing the last episode. The more we dive into this whole Griswold relationship and situation. Right. And the fact that Maddie went there and, like, confronted him just to, like, look into his eyes and see what she's dealing with. The fact that... That Annabelle continues to like question what they're doing because they're going down an unethical road and young August is there helping them with this. The way she's almost like questioning things, I wonder if she got in the way and Maddie did something to his wife. I wonder if it's something along those lines. Interesting. Because obviously we haven't heard much of her outside of those flashbacks with the exception of the children like throwing that like shade 
like the original kids who aren't the bastard children like oh you grew up in the original house with annabelle lee like the way they threw that out there it just really stuck out to me so i feel like that has a big moment of the story because why wasn't she there on new year's why wasn't she out with them on new year's that's a great question so I, I, I honestly i didn't even think about it is that who i he, thought that we would just we would get to that eventually but i didn't really like it just never crossed my mind. And then when you, like, one of the things that kind of perked me up was like, oh, he's not like a womanizer type. I was like, wait, what? Yes, he is. He totally yeah, he is. is. He's so fucking And I'm like, is. he has so many kids with so many different women. I don't think he respects women at all. What's the and common denominator? It's you. Yeah. It's you. So we also saw a scene of him sitting in front of a brick wall talking. Could he be talking to her? Is she buried? Like, again, I'm not fully, sh like, even going back and editing, I don't, I still don't grasp exactly the location of where he was when talking no, to the wall so that's something else was, that's gonna have to play out more felt like it was in a basement but i don't know if it was at the location of the bar or in his original house or something yeah else. i don't know so it's, it felt off we'll see yeah right there. something definitely fell off but the fact that there was a little bit of focus on her made me like made my ears perk up be like wait we haven't really discussed her. We have Where is she? What happened to her? It's a great Why question. does he have so many children with so many different women when we met him as a young Roderick being married with kids? So it's like, hmm, that was kind of fishy and kind of something that caught my attention. So something to look for well, and watch for. So Now I really got to know that. Yeah. So it's just, again, the story does a really good job of planting these seeds and telling the story and... I'm excited to see where it goes, but also at the same time, I'm expecting probably the most insane, ridiculous thing possible. Right. Tammy is going to have a horrible, horrible time this episode. That's my prediction. And I know all these episodes are referring to Poe's work, at Edgar Allan Poe's work, but I don't recall, I haven't read anything from him since I was probably very young. And like, I keep forgetting certain too, things. Like don't, the Raven, yeah. like I get it. Yeah, I get it. like Telltale Heart is obviously something that. Yes. Where the sound was in the board, and they had to rip the floor out, and it was all in his head, kind of thing. Because my education came from The Simpsons. I remember that. So well, yeah, that was one of the exactly the Halloween episodes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, but yeah, like that. After the episode, I'm like, oh yeah, duh, I remember that story. So there's parts of the stories that I remember. But obviously, every one of these episodes is focused on that. I think that's really awesome. I wish I had a little bit more kind of I mean, we could always, remembered knowledge of Edgar Allan Poe. We could Allen always Poe. start our education. We could always just go read. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. It's always good to read. Get out there. Go read. And go read. Read a book. But you ready for this episode? Yeah. Goldberg. Episode Goldbug. Episode six. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. So her husband left the last episode. So she's on her own now? They got into a fight because she was like, I picked you, you were on a list. I could go find someone else. Like a crazy psycho person. She plays this role so well, by the way. She does great. She's amazing. Oh. Did she just fall asleep because she hasn't been sleeping? Right. <laughs> Get she, some rest. She friggin' fell asleep washing her face. That's, that's impressive. Oh my god, are you going to burn the house down right now? I was just Oh god. <laughs> Whoa, what? By the way, that kettle is fucking gorgeous. Welcome all and thanks for coming. I am not Bill T. Wilson. Bill T. Wilson is hoping a prostitute named Candy will let him fuck her if he brushes her hair. Tamerlane Usher came up with a gold bug lifestyle to change the fucking. What the hell? <laughs> Okay. Oh. oh, shit. It's time to go to bed. Let's go to bed. But she has this big presentation and launch event that she's got to handle. No time for sleep. She'll sleep when she's dead. <laughs> Which I predict to be in 50 minutes from now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bill? Uh, guard? <laughs> Guy? Costner? Really? Bodyguard? Ooh. Shut up. 
With the mirrors on the wall, it's real creepy. There's a lot of mirrors in this house. Ugh. That's nasty. What the fuck, dude? Oh, Jesus. And she's gonna be losing her mind because she hasn't slept. Tamerlane, you've got to sleep. Oh shit. Um. And an ambient. You also. Oh god. You also want to wake up though. <laughs> Jeez. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just go. Please, just go. You've told me about Perry's conversations with his friends, Camille with her assistants, Leo chasing a cat alone in his loft, Victorine's weird experiences at work, and now this, Tamerlan Usher alone in her bedroom. There's no way you witnessed these events. So what is this, your best guess? This is what happened. How could you know that? I know because they told me. Oh, God. Before they died? No, not before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, isn't it beautiful? What is so... It's fit for a queen. Queen Tusrit, pharaoh of Egypt, 19th dynasty. Two giant sapphires were placed in Tusrit's head when she was mummified. Place of her eyes. That's how you set up a goddess. Why is he covered in what I would assume is blood? I would imagine he came from Vic's situation. Oh, that's right. Who's he talking to? And in just a few years, priceless sapphires are a birthday gift for my sister. I reached through time and ripped the eyes out of a goddess with my pocketbook and some patience. I never thought of it like that, but goddamn. Does that make me a god? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Don't all answer at once. Jesus Christ, are you okay? Have you been home yet? Pim told me to come straight here before the press gets it. I haven't spent the night in my office since the first League of Dawn launch. Well, take a shower at least. Oh, shit. That's not what I think it is. It's fortunate on a property. I couldn't leave it for the police. Did you remove it yourself? I was gonna have an intern do it, but this was faster. <laughs> oh my God. I saw with my own eyes, she did it herself. I saw Victorine push a knife into her own heart. No one helped her with her girlfriend either, that much was clear. Four deaths in a row is not a coincidence. We don't need to know how it's happening to know it's happening. We are under attack. Vic had a board seat. Oh, now you're listening. Has it not occurred to you that if these coincidences keep happening, that family firewall you've always talked about is being dismantled? We could lose control of the board. That woman from the bar, if we don't stop her right fucking now, you won't have a family left. You won't have a company either. That's something we can work with, at least. Yes, finally. Something I can actually do. I'll have my hand around the throat of every board member by lunch. I'm taking the ward of the shareholders. Oh, this is wild. Yeah. Roddy? Those Crocs. I saw your Crocs, girl. Crocs are so comfy, especially the ones with the fuzzy lining. I'm sorry, they are. They're so comfy. Oh my god. Dad, an outpouring of support by his Oh my god. I guess we'll have to go to another funeral. Dad, are we safe? You're safe. You you have a bodyguard at school. You're completely safe, honey. Yeah, just the direct children are dying, and there's two left. Listen to me, this is important. Your Aunt Victorine, your Uncle Leo, your Aunt Camille, your Uncle Perry, none of them were right. And they're also, well, they're not completely ushers either. The only thing that matters now is mommy. It's like she's sitting here listening to him talk and like, what the fuck? Yeah. Let's set our shit aside for just a minute and take stock of what has happened. You are not okay. I know you think you're tougher than all this, but you're not. And you have not been okay for a while now. But you're not alone in this. I am here with you and I love you. I don't. 
All I've ever done is try to work on our marriage, and all you've ever cared about is our brand. Our brand? Read your prenup, Bill. You leave with the clothes on your back, if that. <laughs> You're fucking ruthless, dude. I'm just having a really hard time here. And this thing, this gold bucket, it's different than anything else that my family has ever done. And it is more important now than ever that the world see that we're more than just Fortunato. We're not just pill pushers. We can be about health and about beauty. And the Usher name is more than just Roderick and Madeline. And I'm scared of Bill. Oh, he's... Was he ever there? Great question. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Maybe he was. This shit is wild. <laughs> Why is this happening? Life is insane. It is madness. And the sooner you understand that, the better off you'll be. I'm worried, Grandpa. Me too. I'm not worried about me. I'm worried about my dad. Something's off. Well, sometimes things are just off. Reality's not what it used to be. All that we see or seem is but a dream. Speaking of dreams, Tammy cannot. Do you see them too? <laughs> Daydreams. Because I'm not sleeping at night, but that's that's an edge. What a shot that is. Jeez. Grandpa, are you okay? I am. I'm fine. And he sees four of his dead children and he's having conversations with them. Mm-hmm. It's been quite a week. Hard drives, laptops, anything digital is ours. The DA has assured me that if you find anything relevant to our case on those devices, you'll turn it in. See something of interest, Mr. Pym? You'll conclude your business here by seven. Mr. Usher welcomes you into his daughter's home, but his patience isn't endless. Dad, are you here? Have you seen my father? Where is he? Crystal, you know his secretary. Crystal, of course you do. She said he was okay, not to worry. Victorine, horrible. It's always the same, though he doesn't really talk to me most of the time. You ever been alone in this house? It's fucking huge. A lot of stairs. Quite cold. I loved you, know. <laughs> I'm sorry about Victorine and Camille and Leo and Perry. I guess all these terrible things and I thought it's when people come together. I'm just waiting for her to like fall asleep and wake up. I'm waiting Doing for something else. Tammy to just explode on her. She... I'm sorry that he doesn't answer his phone. It's not you, it's all of us. It always has been. I've never had much in the way of family. I thought when we got together, well, this family's fucking huge, isn't it? Just to be part of a group. Be really part of something, you know? Silly, aren't I? Just tell him I came by if you talk to him before I do. She was actually very nice and didn't talk any shit. And I was halfway decent. I mean, how much of that was she conscious for? Mm -hmm. I found a patient file at Vic's. There was a photograph attached. It was her. There was an address on the file. Now you're talking. You need to get there. I'm here now. You were absolutely correct. You have been targeted. He's on the original block. Yeah, 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 yeah. What makes you say that? I'm standing in front of your house. Wow. She used this address on her file? That's right. Did he go inside? No, oh, yes, he did. And did he find her? How much do you know about Arthur Pym? I expect he's the kind of man you call if you accidentally kill a prostitute and need to dismember the corpse. <laughs> I was going to say, you need to hide a body. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You remember the Transglobe Expedition, 79 to 82, circumnavigated the globe, UK to the South Pole, to the North Pole, and home again, around the world. I remember. The Northwest Passage. Graveyard of so many famous adventurers. They both have such great voices. Oh, yeah. I love their conversations. He was barely 25. He put law school on hold to elbow his way onto the expedition and he saw the fucking world. While you and I were dicking around with our petty little dramas and we were digging in the basement of Fortunato, Arthur Gordon Pym was bending the planet over and taking his piece. Oh, that's inappropriate. 
the things he saw. And he'll talk about it to a point. Always stops telling it as he gets to the North Pole. It used to be a fun game when the kids grew up trying to finish Arthur's story. I like to think he killed someone. I like to think he's eaten human flesh. I like to think he took a piss on the tip top of the world. <laughs> he told Tammy the Earth was hollow and that he found an island at the top of the world that he called Ultima Thule and that it was the realm of beings who lived. Wow. Beneath us, out of time, and out of space. I'm waiting for something to be in the background. Tammy, jump. There's some. Is there somebody standing in the doorway of the basement? I didn't notice. Funny you mentioned going through the basement of Fortunato. That's why I remember seeing the expedition in a way. They landed back in England in 82. I watched most of it on TV. I remember it well. I was unemployed at the time, thanks to you. At this point, isn't it all just water on- Oh my shit! God damn it! They got me every time! Every time! Like, even when it's like being anticipated. Barefoot on broken glass. That's right, 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 right. Oh god, what happened? Her her neck is slit. Oh, bent oh, neck, lady. Yep, what? Yep, there you go. Project. Like, what would be going through your head if you were August? Watching him have all these outbursts. He's like, dude, I gotta go. Thanks for doing this. I love the bracelet. What happens if he gets caught? Kind of depends on what he gives us. Well, whatever I give you, whatever it is, you have to take him down. Because no matter how badly we hurt him, if we don't kill him, he'll kill us both. You know that. What do you need specifically anything that has your signature on it that you know you didn't sign those are bulletproof we can't do this you'll be breaking the law we're just making copies of their crime this is risking everything we have yeah this leads to whatever happens to her for sure right this is worth the risk then i'm proud of you i would be terrified like i mean yeah you're gonna break into a building Go through a ton of files and try to get copies of those files and try to fucking kill a very powerful dude. Because he said kill him. Because he'll kill them otherwise. Right. Oh, he's by himself. This is terrifying. Uh, yeah. My anxiety is nuts. I can't with these fucking shows, dude. Oh my god. It's probably bad for my health. I mean, the jump scares in this show, even when you know they're coming, are very well done. They did that last one. It was a glass break. I didn't think that was coming. I tracked down that bar you mentioned, Madeline. Was that Only rat? the location you gave me isn't a bar. It was never a bar. It's been vacant since 1975. I must have the address wrong. I looked at every bar in a five-mile radius of Fortunato going back to 1975. I accounted for every female bartender at every bar that fit that criteria and nothing. I tapped into Madeline's technology department, brought in her research algorithm, combed the internet, massive image search, and in conjunction with our facial recognition. Oh, wait, that's... David Koch, seven years ago. And Zucky, too. Wait, what? These were taken in 2011. So she's a stalker. This is from the 80s. She also doesn't age, apparently. That's Prescott Bush, 1944. Randolph Hearst, Rockefellers. What? Doheny, Vanderbilts, mm -hmm. and this one. That's John Francis Queenie. He founded Monsanto in 1901. This is bullshit. But also, she kind of looks oh. like Mary Poppins. Wild. Give me three minutes, I'll give you a photo of Pim blowing Elon Musk. 
Remember what happened that night. Remember what she said. You remember that conversation. I know you did. What? Seriously, can you just show us so we can remember? The metadata confirms these images have been online for years. For someone to fake these photographs, we're looking at deep state, black ops level cyber manipulation. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. This is so interesting. Yeah. What now, another movie or a show? Movie. Honey, love you. She's talking. Really? We gotta tell the doctor. Ah, we sure do. You said about the specialist, full-time care, but, well, I haven't seen anybody. They come when they're needed. Are they coming tomorrow? I'm sure they are. I don't want you to worry about doctors. This is sus. Your mom is gonna get what she needs, and who better to take care of her than us, right? I mean, we always have been. He's doing drugs. I just thought because you said about the Don't you worry stuff. about it. Like you're losing your mind too. I mean, he's probably doing all the drugs that yeah, Leo gave him. Well, yeah. He's sitting here fucking bowling. Yeah, he's doing drugs. I heard you're talking. I think it's neat that you can talk again. What's the point? Because if you're talking, you're lying. And maybe we can do without the lies, Maury. Ugh. What the fuck, dude? Is he gonna poison her? How long were you fucking him? No. 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 Oh shit, her heart rate's going... <gasps> 15 cc's lasted, what, about six hours last time? This stuff is the real deal. You're aware the whole time, right? I mean, it's important that you're aware. You can still see me, hear me. Holy shit. Oh my shit. god. Let's see how long this dose lasts, huh? What a fucking lunatic. Okay, so I, I, I don't think it's cocaine. It's gotta be something else, no? Okay, they gotta be in the basement of the company. You nearly spat out my tea when your secretary told me where you were. She says, but you've been coming down here a lot. What are you doing down here anyway? Good questions, I need answers. Gold bug is starting. You should be there. If not for her, for the company we are drowning, trial, the deaths. It's a waste of time. Why the hell is he doing it today, anyway? Well, because she has to. Right now, she seems more interested in pulling this family out of its nosedive than you do. Her and Tammy, very similar. Do you hear that? Hear what? Bells. Oh, shit. Get your shit together. The fuck is wrong with you? You know as well as I do what's happening here. Stop. I don't know anything about anything. My heart is dying. My brain is dying. I don't know for a fact if you're even here right now. Your daughter needs you. <sighs> wow. This is nuts. He says he hears bells. Is that like the bells on the hat of the Joker jackal thing that we've seen a couple times? Maybe. Like, is that symbolism for his wife? Maybe. They need to get used to seeing your beautiful face out there. Your face in front of the gold bug logo. Your face in front of the Fortunato logo. Not built the fitness dork. <laughs> so Maddie doesn't like him. The way she said that is just funny. Fitness dork. Break both legs. Is she gonna sleep right now through the whole thing? Yeah. Pleasure to introduce the founder of Goldbug, Tamerlane Usher. I am so grateful that we're all here together today. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh my god. Yikes. 
I mean, what the fuck? And excuse my French, I'm, I'm just, I'm not excited. Are we doing here? <laughs> we are here to change lives, and that is what the fuck we are doing here. Oh my god. Oh my god, uncomfy. The first true high-end beauty, fitness, and health lifestyle brand on the market. She's gonna see the woman with him in the picture, isn't she? Let's start with our gold bug boxes. I'm so scared. No two boxes are the same because no two pe people are the same. I, I agree. Oh my god. The fuck are you doing here? Oh my god, dude. Just super proud of you. Uh oh. Look under your assigned seats and find what we have built for you. Watch, mine's full of poo. <laughs> Do not. Sorry. 100% organic. Yep. Okay. Tonight is about positive reinforcement. I want you to lick her <gasps> armpits and then eat her out. This is not actually happening. Turn it off! The bum is not chopped. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh no! Holy shit. I am right here! Whoa. Oh dear. Holy shit, dude. Did she kill Juno? I hope not. Those mic stands aren't light. No, they are not. <gasps> Hello? Oh, what? I, it, it, it was awful. I, I, I don't know what happened. I, I'm so sorry I didn't listen to you. <laughs> You can call him back. You still got time. Maybe just tell him you're sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that would be so much easier, wouldn't it? Oh. Sh oh. Shit. That's how the mirrors are going to come into play. Oh. You absorbed your twin in the womb. That's fucking hard. Cakes. Maybe I've been living all this time shoved to a dark corner of your skull. I love the voice traveling. What do you want? What do you want? Whoa. For you to relax. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> You keep swinging away like that. You're only I don't know. Yourself. Just based on this so far, I feel like Tammy's getting off the easy way with the chemical melting burns and Tammy. being attacked by a wild animal. Oh. It's your last chance to be oh, stuff above still her and breathe before the inevitable. Oh, fuck. This is how important sleep is, y'all. I fucked it all up. Some sleep. <laughs> oh, shit. Fucking Matrix over here. Oh, shit, dude. That's how she gets all sliced up. 
Never mind, she does not have it the easy way out. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. <coughs> Having a mirror above your bed is not a good idea. I mean, it's fine as long as you don't just do a friggin' backflip to break it because you're going crazy. Oh Holy my god, sh no. Dude. I mean, if you have an earthquake. Well, true. Beach? No, I, not in California. Mm -hmm. Dude, this, this show continues to just to surprise. Do it to you. Yeah. I surprise, mean, surprise. Even oh, when you know you something's anyone? coming, <laughs> even when you know something's coming, it still shocks you. I know. You, you've seen that TikTok. Come probably, on. <laughs> yeah, I just. That was wild. And it's like, it's all like the last three have all been mental issues. Yeah. It's like between drugs, killing your significant other, and lack of sleep. It's all these people are. Well, the even like up. with Vic, with the just the hearing things. Yeah, but I mean, she was hearing it because of she was driving herself crazy because no, she I, killed her significant other. Yeah, no, totally get it. But I'm just like the hearing stuff, the so one, seeing stuff. One kid left. And I, he does not look like he's doing well. No, he's friggin' abusing the drugs that his brother gave him, and he's. Pumping those drugs into his wife's blood? Right into her IV too. Like, like. what? <laughs> it's like anytime she shows improvement, she just gets filled with that stuff and he shuts her up and puts her back in like a comatose state. Like, yeah. <sighs> wow. That's why he doesn't want any doctors. Yeah, he doesn't want anyone there. He doesn't want her getting any better. Yeah, he's doctor. torturing her. Yes, no, I agree. For lying to him. Yeah, he thinks that she's lying. I, I mean, mean, she did lie. It's really hard to, like, you know, especially when you can't respond. Did, uh, did I go to that party to just hang out? No. Right. She I, had other intentions. Yeah, but the fact is, like, she did lie. She shouldn't be treated this way because of that. No! But, no! Like, he, he has this, and all the kids have this, this certain feeling of entitlement that, like, you lie to me, I'm going to torture you for the rest of the time you have alive. And it's like, dude, you are a lunatic. And he's the last one standing of the Usher kids, which I am fascinated to see what happens to him because uh, you you kind of called it out last episode with tammy and the bed you were like those mirrors are gonna freak me like you commented on like you thought you were gonna see something in the mirrors but the mirror ended up playing a part of it and was like a foreshadow i feel well, no, like it was in this episode that i said that well, no it was last episode oh it was well, I said when, something this one too yeah but that one you were like oh the bed it's like i'm because you were watching the mirror for something to be there but like i wonder if something bowling related is going to be frederick i keep calling him frederick frederick's <laughs> nice frederick's death because like drugs the bowling I don't know. I feel like it's something along those lines potentially. Because that would be what in the hell could you possibly? I feel like they foreshadowed all the deaths to a point. Like if you go back, because I get to watch everything more than once because I edit these. Like the fact that I am fresh with the last episode in my head from editing it, and you making that comment, I'm now thinking about all the stuff that Frederick has done, and I'm wondering if it has anything to do with. It's got to be bowling. drug related. Bowling. Uh, that, that's where I'm going. I think it's going to be something bowling related because well, we just saw him bowling in this episode. Bowling and drugs. Yeah. But, I mean, the way they're doing the story is amazing. Yeah. Because it's hard to tell what is and what isn't real. Mm -hmm. Like, what's there, what's in their heads. Like, all of them. But Even I with can't... Maddie at the end right there. Yeah. I can't believe she walked out and was like, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> Well, poor Juno. I know. I hope she doesn't. She's just trying to be supportive. I like that. I hope she she's was not like, dead. I bet you mine's full of poo. Because <laughs> it's like I love two, the yeah. comedic relief oh, right there's there. There's some. There's some good parts for she's sure. She's fantastic. She's like, do you have any idea how like there's so cold in this house? There's so many stairs. <laughs> she just kept going. I mean, for all we know, Tammy was asleep in that moment, just standing there daydreaming. It's, I don't know. It's very possible. I, I, yeah, I think she, everybody I mean, would have been staring at her. Even no, I'm talking about in that conversation that you were just talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even Bill in the last episode was like, were you asleep? Like, while he was talking to her. Yeah. So, like, she zones out during conversation. So, I think she probably was during that. But, 
I mean, this... Ambien. Not fuck you up. Yeah, there's two episodes left. I... This Annabelle Lee thing continues to kind of just... I, I think I'm on to something because... I think so, too. She continues to show concern for the risk, which, yeah, you should because what he's doing or what he did was really dangerous. He was in that basement, and I think that's what it is. It's the basement of the building of the company. Yeah. I think you said that. I think it, I think that's it. But that's where the files are. I don't know if maybe she showed up there trying to, like... Stop him, protect him, or got word about something and tried something to warn him. Something got royally fucked up, and she, or maybe not, got royally fucked up, and then he just got his big pants and was like, "I don't need you anymore." Yeah, I, I think something bad happened to her. Uh, that's where my brain, and I think a lot of it is circulating around that New Year's moment. Okay. I don't like. I can't really think of anything. Else. I don't know what the connection is with the bells and like. The whole Joker-looking character that we've seen, I think, twice. Right. But he specifically, like, while he was talking to the wall and talking to Matt, he was like, do you hear the bells? And I'm like, I'm thinking it's the bells from the hat that Jokers wear. So, I don't know. But I feel like he did something bad, and I feel like it's connected to his wife. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. I think. But, I mean, the show does a really good job of swerving and just, again, making things not feel real. It's true. The idea that the driver's license of the patient that was going to get the heart procedure. I fucking was love like, that shit. The idea that the address was the original home is like, what? And the pictures. <laughs> yeah. I love I mean, that's wild. all that stuff. And I mean, Pim's like, you would need to friggin' have a supercomputer and CIA access to be able to have this kind of hack job on these photos if they're not real and like. Going back all the way to 1900. Yeah, I would like, like to know all the things that Pim saw on his travels across the world. Right? That sounded incredible. Yeah, just like <laughs> things that got stopped. Like him making copies of things and then talking about Pim traveling the world. Expand, please. Yeah. Context. I stuff. mean, they're doing a really good job of telling a story up to a point And then, and then leaving literally you. stopping. Yeah, and then it's like... Then it kind of picks up the next episode, and then it hits a stopping point again. Because they've done that, like, a bunch of times. And the thing I want the most is what the hell happened on New Year's. That's that's obviously the big one. It probably happened in the finale. We'll probably get that full reveal and the full story behind all of that. But Because yeah. next episode is going to be Frederick's death. So, I mean, just a prediction based off of the like, way the shows have been. We have two episodes left, and there's one kid. So, unless they save him for the finale, I doubt that. I feel like the finale is going to like wrap up all this and give us the big whammy of what the hell has been going on. That's kind of what I feel like the format of the show is right now. Because it feels like it's a little bit of a formula at this point. Because we're getting certain stuff, and then we're having like the conversation with Roderick in August, and then we're having the jump scare, and then we're basically going down the home stretch with certain yeah. like parts of the story of the flashback sprinkled in so watch next episode like, they're gonna swerve us and they're yeah. not gonna do that at all I, that would be awesome if they did that because you know it's not good to be predictable but i mean i don't think this show has anything to hide in terms of what's happening with these kids because mm -hmm. they told us at the beginning yeah. all the kids die and yeah. then as you see like oh episode this kid died okay the next one okay so I, I think that's where we're going and then we get the full unveil of everything in the finale which I can't wait to see where this goes because every episode gets a little weirder. Yes. And they're all really dark. Yeah. But they're all very creative. The the swerves and the mystery keeps getting thicker as we go. So yeah, I, I feel like there's gonna be a really big twist somewhere and I'm really expecting it and I'm really excited for it because the show's been awesome. It's been a lot of fun. It's been really cool. Again, it's super dark and creepy and totally fucked up. Like Tammy's death. Holy shit. Like, the fact that she, like, jumped, like, broke the glass, the, fell the glass on one. From, oh, my God. And then the giant one just landed right on her throat. And God, like, all over her body. Just, yeah. Jesus. But that big one kind of sliced her head off almost because she was kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah, bent neck lady. Bent neck lady yeah, yeah, yeah. Which... Wild. If y'all haven't seen that, you gotta go watch Hill House. What are you but, doing? Yeah. yeah, another banger of an episode, though. Agreed. Any other thoughts? No. All right, y'all. You guys share all your thoughts. We'll see you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.